Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. For those who don't know me, my name is Casey, and today we are going to be talking about plants that make me happy. Plants with Casey. So in today's video, I have five plants that have been making me super happy lately. So I think that's pretty much self-explanatory, so we're just going to jump right into the video. These are in no particular order because I feel like all of these ones have been the ones who have been making me the happiest and it was hard to kind of narrow it down to five so these are in absolutely no particular order. Number one is my horsehead philodendron or my philodendron bipanifolium. Now this one is probably one of my favorite plants in my collection. First off, I tried helping this leaf out so it did get a little damaged, but um, my lesson was learned. But they, it has gotten two new leaves since I got it and it has a third on its way right there. But these leaves are just so pretty. They have like the prettiest little bit of a blue tint to them, which I find absolutely gorgeous. But yes, this is definitely a plant that has been making me extremely happy ever since I got it, honestly. I just love it. It's just so pretty. And also, to decorate the pot, I have this cute little bumblebee that I got for Valentine's Day from my mother-in-law, so. Number two is my Monstera Siltipicana. Uh, it has been growing super, super fast since I bought it off of Insanical Botanical Amber. I'll leave her links down below. Whenever I first bought this plant, it had, I think, four leaves total, and one of the leaves was yellow, and I ended up taking off. And since then, I've gotten three leaves with another one on its way out, and they're getting bigger by the leaf, and they're beautiful. And it also got this one root right here, and it just goes all the way down into the dirt. So that's cool. And it's doing really, really well. Um, I do need to make quite a few moss pools. But yeah, that one has been really, really making me happy lately, so I thought I would share that one with you. These are my top three, three, not six, three. And these are the three that I really can't choose between. This is ooh, another one. I will put a picture up right here of what it looked like the day that I bought it, which was I think um, two months ago now, a month ago. I'll put the date somewhere here as well. And I have trimmed it once. I'm giving cuttings to my sister-in-law, but I did trim it once, but this is it now. My goal is to get it as tall as me. And it goes just below my waist right now. So we're getting there, but it's getting super, super long. And I just tangled the absolute crap out of it. So I'm gonna have fun dealing with that tomorrow. You can clearly see why it makes me happy. It's just growing so incredibly fast and I do nothing to it. It has been blooming. I see like a new bloom every day, at least one, and I don't know, it just makes me so happy. I love it so much. I'm so glad because I was very weary on spending $25 on this plant, but I'm super, super, super glad that I did because it was definitely worth it with the amount of growth it has given me so far. I'm also going to link this mug that I got. I got it off of an Etsy shop, so I'll also leave that down in the link below because they offer free shipping and I got this like two days after I ordered it and I ordered it at night. So I highly, highly, highly recommend the seller of this cup. It is May's Coffee Mugs. I think it's just May's Coffee Mugs. If I'm wrong, the screen will tell you. But yeah, I highly recommend it. And in here I have the Lemon Lavender Tea from Adagio. Highly recommend that brand, highly recommend that tea. You guys should go check it out. Next on the list we have my, uh, I'll just do the nursery pot. 
my Alocasia Friday. You guys might have seen this one in my Hertz unboxing, and I can't even get the whole thing in frame. I'll show you guys this in a second. This is actually just the easiest for me right now. This plant came super bent, and at first I didn't really think it was going to live and or really do well, but it has literally been mind-blowing watching this plant grow. It, it has gotten huge, and on top of that, we have, get out of here, this is really hard to do, a bunch of babies, we have this baby, and this one, and there's three babies, this one, and then we have a new leaf coming in right here, but the most exciting thing, I'm trying to get it in frame, right there, do you see that beautiful bloom, it's a little bit out of focus, there we go, look at it, it's massive. And it's been like this for about four days now, so I'm really hoping tomorrow morning I'm just going to wake up and it's going to be beautiful. So, yeah. I'm super, super excited about this. This is the main reason this is even on this list, besides the fact that this has to be one of my all-time favorite plants. So, yeah. And do you see that hole in that other leaf over there? There's actually two of them. That's because the duct tape came undone in my greenhouse and it's been getting caught on the duct tape. So that's fun. And if y'all know me, which I'm sure a whole bunch of you can guess which plant that is probably my all-time favorite plant that is making me happy right now, and um, <laughs> this honestly probably is no surprise, but that is my Anatherium warocuanum or my Queen Anatherium. This is, without a doubt, my all-time favorite plant. This has been my wish list plant for so long, but it was one of those plants that I never thought I would own. So the fact that I'm literally sitting here showing you this and being able to tell you that this plant makes me happy is mind-blowing to me, but this plant not only is my favorite plant ever, but um, recently I showed an unboxing of this plant in my experience, oh, sorry, I keep hitting it, with Equigenera, and since then I asked you guys if I should chop off the leaf. More people were opposed to it than they were uh, kind of like, yeah, go ahead and do that. But um, I did it anyway, and I'm so glad that I did. And hopefully I can get this on camera. There are three new growth points on this plant right now. Please focus. There is the one right here. It's a little bit out of focus, but there's one right here, one right there, and one right there. So it's going to get three new leaves, and it might just be coincidental, or it might be because I chopped off that leaf, but either way, I'm so, so, so happy with this plant. Alright guys, so those are the five plants that make me happy, that have been making me happy, and that will more than likely make me happy in the future. If you would like to, go ahead and comment down below a plant that is making you happy currently. And I guess that's it for today's video. If you enjoyed, go ahead and give it a thumbs up. Make sure to comment down below. You can also subscribe to me if you haven't already. And you can go ahead and hit that notification bell so you get a notification every single time I upload. And I will see you on Friday with five plants that I regret buying. So, I'll see you guys then. I hope you guys are still staying safe and staying sane. Please remember that my DMs are always open if you need to talk. And, yeah, I'll see you guys on Friday. Bye, guys. Next on the list, <clears throat> okay, nope.
This isn't working very well. We have a bloom. Right here. Let's let's actually zoom in on this. This is worth zooming in on. Why don't I just go around the other side and do it that way? Oh, no, because my hair is caught in it. I would really like to hear what pl what plan. I would really enjoy to hear a plant that makes you happy during everything going on right now and I uh, didn't like how I said that. I'll get this. I got this.